சனோமனக்கு சீரியம் கருவாவகை தேஜஸ்வினாவதீக்கமஸ்துமாவிஷாவகை second was the path of moksha then third to ninth verses is the chariot imagery 
the chariot is described to tell that this life should have destination. It should not be a roundabout or a wandering without aim. So there should be something to reach there. And to reach there, what are the instruments which are important? That is illustrated by using the chariot example. So there were four things you heard yesterday in that chariot example. Body, sense organ, mind, intellect, jeev and the mark or margaha. So there were the five things. So in that we had seen each of them because when you are going for a journey, please ensure that the journey should be smooth and it should be completed. It should not be left incomplete or I should not meet a crash because of my wrong vehicle. I should check properly otherwise I will meet an accident with the same vehicle which can take us to the destination. It can take us to death also. If the vehicle is not proper it can backfire also. Same car which can take to the biggest destination if driven wrongly and if unchecked properly it can create a disastrous accident also because that car when it moves it has lot of energy. The moving car and stationary car is very simple to see. But the moving car with the speed of 80 km or 100 or 110 km has tremendous amount of kinetic energy. If it is slightly mishandled, then it can create a very fatal accident also. We also have very very powerful instruments called the sense organ, body, mind, intellect. At least these four and the jeev all are very very powerful instrument. Anything which power should be very carefully handled. If something which is very powerful like fire is there, if fire is slightly mishandled it can burn the whole house. And if it is properly handled, it can create lot of energy somewhere. River is there. River. Of that water is a very powerful thing. Water, if it is handled, you can bring a dam and it can create electricity. But if it is not handled properly, a person can drown. People drown in the pool also. Forget about river. I have heard people drowning in the swimming pool. How do they drown? I don't know. But they do drown because it has it has a depth somewhere. So they are not able to handle that water. So be very very careful. You are having very powerful instrument. It can create a havoc and it can create moksha also. We are not, we are not knowing the power of this instrument. It can create, therefore because these instruments are powerful, therefore they create lot of disturbances. Anything which is less powerful cannot create lot of disturbances. <coughs> In this Rishti, even a small thing has a lot of power. One speck of dust has a lot of power. When it goes in your eyes, then you know what the power is of one speck. One speck, when it goes in the eyes, 
very small particle and when it goes through the kidney and it starts passing through that bladder tract then you know what is the power of that speck how much pain it creates because that uh, that stone is not very big even a sm small stone not a big stone this size stone when it passes if it is in the kidney no problem when it starts passing through a tract then its sharp edges cut the veins and you can understand a person may rule in pain sometimes you can understand the power of that so everything has a very big power whether it is time or whether it is a particle and what to say of power of mind and sense organ and intellect so if you don't know how to handle this you will create a lot of disturbances it is a very very serious matter which we take it lightly <clears throat> so let us see that okay and same thing if it is well used it can create the most conducive situation it can create most biggest joy which you can never imagine also so what do you mean by this power of cell body body has lot of power it can create lot of lot of enjoyment body can create and same body can create lot of disturbances those who have problems of the body diseases they can imagine how much pain they have the same body supposing you even enjoy the material object it can give you some more joy much joy and same body if it is mastered and you can meditate it at least you will be happy this body is there sense organ mind now in this particular mantra so uh, take these matter very very seriously so what is that fifth mantra fifth mantra says yastu avigyan van bhavati yesterday you saw this this is the yastu avigyan van bhavati so what does it mean by yah avigyan van <coughs> avigyan van is for buddhi sarathi so yah that charity the master who is there avigyan van means what i had told the word uninformed uninformed charity he has yah one who has the uninformed charity no one more point this is a thing to understand anything which you are living with dealing with you should have a very clear knowledge about what it is how to live with it how to deal with it what is the effect of dealing like this when you take a computer you get a manual with that where is on off switch is there simple thing you have to know about that computer even if you take a simple mobile there is one small booklet comes with that gadget with that gadget what is it called huh manual some kind of so you it is important that you read it first when you something goes wrong then person opens that manual this is tendency is when something blasts or mobile is not opening now so something then he start referring to the manual so they will tell so bet, better either you understand for somebody how to open what are the switches there that this is on off switch is here volume switch is here Hmm. This is the male point is there. All points you have to understand. More you can understand because you have to live with it and you have to handle it properly. 
where is the silence people are there mobile goes on they don't know how to put in silent sometimes in the class mobile goes they don't know how to put on silent mode you must have seen so when all of a sudden it goes then the other person who does not know he he puts it on silent so anything which you are living with you should know it very very well understand this point if you are living in your room so you always see where is the switch where is the switch of uh, the tv where is the switch of radio where is the what is it called the fan switch where is the light switch where is the washroom switch you are very well especially when i go to some big hotels very difficult so many switches are there in one room where is the bed switch where is the bed side switch then there is the cupboard switch cupboard also has a switch hundreds of switches are there and then sometime ac is very cold how to put it off or how to increase the temperature of that air con it is so cold you don't know where ac switch is in the night to a clock i wanted to now put off the ac then i did not know where is the ac switch how to put it off i don't know now so first thing when you go you should have acquainted yourself with all these things you imagine we take our self for granted we deal with so many factors we deal with people with the people who love us a lot with the people who may not love us a lot with the object we deal with success we deal with failure we deal with praises we deal with bad words we deal hmm with our disappointment we live with our parents we live with our teacher we live with our juniors we live with our seniors we live with our destiny we live with our bad prarabh we live good prarabh we live you are surrounded by hundreds of certain things and if you don't know how to live with it that living creates harmony peace knowledge you will create a big accident with certain people therefore in life you must have seen there were many accidents with people because like you are seated in a car but you didn't know where is the gear and you are just riding like that when you are in the car you are supposed to know where is ignition where is first gear where is the accelerator where is the brake where is the clutch hmm? where is the what is it called fuel meter how will you know petrol is over and now you are pushing the car to the petrol station when petrol had given a sign that it is below there is a sign no you see it is below average the the red light was there and then you did not see the light not true that <laughs> now it is on the midst of the road and now you are as asking somebody give me petrol give me petrol what were you doing earlier when you the you started with the car when the petrol is going half at that time common sense is there you should have taken the but what you did not know you were not careful and especially here in south africa huh, if the car stops in between and that to in the night 10 o'clock you are in shell cross somewhere where bridge is there then they say better leave the car and come away you don't know or you don't know if the rain starts where is the wiper you don't know where is wiper bolte hai na so one person uh, when other car was coming from opposite direction rain was not there he switched on the wiper so somebody said why did you switch and bolte this means don't come so that so, <laughs> wiper is not for the signal of don't come it is it is to signal when the rain acha full speed wiper is there when tremendous rain is there one is the moderate wiper one is the very slow wiper is there 
similarly light is there fog is there fog light if you don't know how to handle you will definitely create an accident in your life you are living with the people here acha aur socho you are living with your past habits we have a very big past big load and baggage we have to run with we are living with our future ambitions we are living with some kind of family people who also have their own habits you are surrounded by lot of complications outside and inside if you don't know how to live and how to handle so that you are not caught up somewhere and you can have a smooth sail and a smooth flight in your life you please tell me how will you function i don't know because some people some ashram i have heard bole i don't study we just take lord's name are bhai lord's name should take you to the knowledge otherwise bhagwan krishna would have would not have given knowledge to arjun he said arjun take hari hari krishna hari krishna ho gaya he could have said to arjun sit down just stay ram ram sita ram sita ram kyun 18 chapters was mentioned and this is i think either bhagwan was not knowing this fact or arjun was not knowing this point by lord name is to purify our mind so that we can get a guru and go to the moksha direction don't try to cover up this point don't try to cover up the ignorance okay so those saints i respect every saint but knowledge is something which is important in the life so vigyanwan means who is well informed where is the role of jap coming why jap is required if i don't do jap what will happen you will have not a focused mind jap focuses the mind you will have relation building process with the lord is required without lord you won't have big support and also your emotional dependency to the world won't change everything has such a big purpose that you won't know how to be detached why detachment is required and what is detachment what is attachment what is love what is havan what is the meaning of scriptures why scriptures are praman why it can don be made by human being why any human person has not written it what is meaning of faith what is the karm how to do action so so that you don't feel heavy after the action you have done what is the meaning of meditation how to quieten my mind when i am disturbed there are hundreds of such questions which you have no answer today if you have not gone through a vigyan van sar sarthi is not with you well informed driver should know which is the way what is the this route that route if you don't know all these things you will be meeting many accident many jerks many shocks you will get in your life and by the time you have get sufficient shocks you will be quiet <laughs> with the broken instrument by your 60 70 sufficient damage you have done to yourself and by that time if you have not gone through this processes okay so please do not look down upon scriptures look down upon the essence of gita i don't understand dekho something please understand supposing you started reading something and you did not understand you said what is all these things always have a faith that the saints have more knowledge than me dhyan dena i don't understand is one thing I understand it wrongly is my problem. Then you say it's my problem. Then what is the right meaning? This was with Sugriv. When Sugriv first saw Ram Ji and Lakshman Ji from a distance, he thought they are the spice sent by Bali. But good point of Sugriv was he didn't trust himself. He said, "I may be wrong. Let me ask. Let us not conclude unless I have proper praman." means of knowledge and he used anuman ji as a means of he said first talk then i will confirm sometimes you will find what is this weird thing is written what is this so you understand okay let me give benefit of doubt 
let me first go to the authoritative person and find out what it is all about and then he sent Hanumanji and this mistake Ravan did when Ravan somebody said by Ravan uh, you know Khar Dushan has been killed so Ravan thought well, someone who kills Khar Dushan uh, he can be God only Khar Dushan Mohisam Balvanta Tahi ko maar sakai Vinu Bhagavanta so for a moment Ravan said very nice but next moment Ramar thought let me test him if he runs behind the golden deer then he is a human being if he had gone to Lord Shiva and found then a different story would be there and moment Bhagwan Ram ran behind the golden deer he said how foolish I was I thought he is God <laughs> he is not even ordinary human being he is a foolish human being so when you so this is scriptures Vigyanvan please note this is not that you are running away from somebody some place you are getting a total perspective how attachment can trouble you what is attachment what is hatred what is where the role of lust is there and where it is dharm and where, is, where it is adharm I have to know it let us do threadbare analysis of that. Let us open the whole thing. Like when the radio I used to see, they were recovering, they used to open all the circuit and put it, put it on the table. Or TV was not okay. The picture tube. Hmm, sometimes children also do like that. They open the whole TV, they don't know how to assemble it back. So, hmm, so Mother, father have gone out, they opened everything. Now they don't know how to put it. They don't know which screw is where and now the big problem is there. <laughs> so let us open the whole matter. No, you are living not with only furniture. When you are living, see when you go to first time when, who, when you fly, somebody tells you, see this is a ticket counter. After that, there will be this is the way baggage has to be put like that. There's an immigration center is there. When first time I went outside the country, they told me these are the processes to be followed. When you are going, and if you go there, there also somebody asks this question, you should answer in this manner. They may ask in the immigration counter why, why you have come here. So give this, this. When you are walking in this world, you need not do anything. You just start like that. I don't know what is attachment. I don't know what is hatred. I don't know what the effect of that. You are, you will be mishandling the most powerful instrument called intellect and mind. And I told you, bigger is the power in something, more it can be dangerous. Same intellect can take somebody to the moon also. And same can take to the hell also. Same can take to the heaven also. And therefore, Always understand, Vigyan Van Sarthi is very, very important. And therefore, Swadhyaya Chapravachanecha, therefore, is study in Yam Niyam also, Niyam also Swadhyaya. Study is very important. Never censor the study. Never censor satsang in the name of Lord's name, in the name of Seva. People who go through serving, Without this background, they create more chaos in the organization. I am telling you, this so-called temples and religious organizations, they are quite fussy. And those who, people who create problem there, they are not well tuned and trained to what is the purpose of coming there. They jump and ultimately they go after power and position and they don't know what far I am there. They burn their own fingers they get more disturbed because of attachment and aversion. Temples, so many temples are in court. I met <coughs> Ashwin Tikkamji when I meet him. So, because every, every organization is attached to the Hindu Mahasabha. He said, Swamiji, how many organizations are in court? Problem is between this committee, this priest, this thing, this thing. And you ask them, what? So they will say, we are all doing service, so-called service. 
I don't know what service is there. <clears throat> I just don't understand what what is this service. They are creating more disturbance. Actually, they should have kept quietly. <laughs> and what they did? They jumped in the organization. And every Tuesday or every Wednesday they had some bhajan kirtan. There was no proper illumination classes. There were no illumination classes. Vigyanvan Sarthi was not well informed. When you are going in the operation theatre as a doctor, you have to have 7-8 years of study. Then you can handle a knife. Then you can handle some part. It's not that you just handle knife. You cannot cut a vegetable also properly if somebody has not taught you how to cut a vegetable also. <clears throat> when people cut, I can understand. He is not trained cutter. He is excellently doing it. There is a way to chop the vegetable. There is a way to cut also. What is the point here? Please know all these things. Never have this habit. And don't say because that ashram does not do. Therefore, don't know ashram is a praman. Scriptures are the praman. Okay. In those ashrams where teaching is not there, it will always have problems. Because they are not having the clarity of vision about anything. And therefore, many years are to be employed sometimes to study it at a regular basis. So you need, why meditation is it? Unless you meditate, you will never have detachment from your body mind. What is the meaning of, uh, you know, doing some kind of Jab you won't know. Then somebody you go to somebody, this do this particular jab. So you start doing that jab. Somebody say you do this particular puja. I will start doing ultimately in 20 years you will have five jab, ten pujas. You will never be focused in anything because anywhere you go, you start that only. So till unfocused sadhana is there, no proper isht is there, no vision of Gita is there. This is not what is required. So yes, do. Avijnan, uninformed is there, person is there. <clears throat> I don't know attachment. Huh? And I go with the people. Somebody loved me a lot. Ab kya hoga? Ab, our attachment will be there. You will be very obsessed with that person. You will feel he is so good and so nice. Let, let us be together for whole life. Let us be together. We will live together, die together. And this will be there. You are mine only. All these things. When the pain comes, then you understand why I got so pains. We are the pain. Wait for the pain. Let the pain be there. Then you understand what is the meaning of these mantras. Similarly, you get into somebody. You will start hating that person. When the effect of that hatred comes that you can't work every day. You are very disturbed because of that person. Because of his every action, you feel very agitated. Then you understand what is the meaning of hatred. What is the meaning of abhiman. Getting my point? Not getting. Or some bad situation comes sometimes. I have lost somebody very close. How to deal with that bereavement? How to deal with it? Asan hai kya itna? If life was very easy, everybody would have been happy by eating, drinking and be merry. Asa to nahi hota. So we have to be very very clear about all these things. And only way to get clear clarity is you have to here, proper structured satsang, systematic, systematic, structured, committed teaching from a capable acharya. Unless you hear it, these problems won't be sorted out. We will be in the fool's paradise. This will happen, then that will happen. I will be happy this way. Nothing will happen lot of new new uh, situations and problem will be there and all in the name of social work you will start a project and create five, five enemies with one project in so called project I, I, was, I was before this project I was, I was not hating anybody after I did this work hatred has come low this is your inner achievement so called help in the name of help in the name of Serving, all in the name of serving. Quite a nice, good, good names we give. Serving, helping, sacrificing, donating. It has created more problem inside the mind. Kya mila apko? What you got other than disturbance? Because you are not well informed. You are not 
illumined on that areas okay so all this is very much required yastu avigyanvan bhayastu avigyanvan bhavati